Hey guys, this video shows you six different scholarships that I have found that I'm going to screen mirror my screen and walk you through what do you need to pay attention to on these websites, what's important, what, is these, what do these different scholarships all require, and uh, all of these scholarships are scholarships due in the month of April. So that's coming up, so get started, check out these websites, but I'm going to kind of walk you through when you're going through these types of scholarship websites, what do you need to be looking at, what's important, and what do you not really need to worry as much about, and what, where's the criteria, so all of the details of what's important when looking for a scholarship, I'm going to screen mirror and show you exactly what you need to look at on these websites, so stay tuned. All right, so we're starting here with a scholarship for a company or a website called projectyellowlight.com. You can see it right here, projectyellowlight.com. So make a statement, win a scholarship, save a life. This is a pretty cool scholarship, I think. So here's basically what it says. It's a competition designed to bring about change, and we know that distracted driving is dangerous. So that's kind of their whole point. So you, so you can definitely take the time to read through this section here about what's important. But down here is the cool part. It's like this. Look, this is March 1st. So you, by the time you're watching this, it might already be too late for this one. But this one here, video due April 1st, radio due April 1st. 10 seconds or 25 second video submissions only. We want to see your personal expression come through in your video. You can video yourself, a group of people, make a cartoon, whatever moves you just sure it's in good taste. In addition to the scholarship, the winning video for both high school and college may be turned into an ad council PSA and distributed nationally to approximately 1,600 TV stations. That's pretty cool. And the scholarship for first prize itself is $8,000. So you would basically just be making a video about distracted driving and trying to make a PSA type of video. And they're gonna say, hey, who made the best video? So if you like making videos or, or filming and those kinds of things, this is an awesome scholarship. You don't even have to write an essay. You make a video, use your creativity. That's awesome. And so once you do it, you just click here and submit your video and you can be entered. Over here, it's the same thing for radio due on April 1st. Also, the scholarship here for first prize is $2,000 and you would just create your thing and submit it there. So I think this one's pretty cool, pretty cool opportunity and you can win up to $8,000 for that one for this PSA. So this is projectyellowlight.com. You can check that one out. Next one here I have is National High School Essay Contest. All right, so what's important on this page? So we're gonna scroll through here. Oh, Partners with American Foreign Service Association, Annual High School Contest, blah, 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 blah. Skip down here. The winner of the contest receives $2,500 cash prize and an all expenses paid trip to Washington, D.C. to meet the U.S. Department of State and the USIP leadership. That's pretty cool. And a full tuition paid voyage with Semester at Sea. I've never done Semester at Sea, but I know somebody who did, and they have raved about that experience. That is pretty cool. Uh, so full scholarship to participate in that. And the runner up will receive $1,250 in cash prizes and some other stuff. So that's pretty awesome. So information session they got a video here that you can watch so that's helpful uh, let's see 2021 the current contest obviously you don't want to read through the past year's content so then you're gonna click on that oh let's bring you back to where it was okay so oh well that's it then so I guess you got to watch the video here in order to figure out how to apply for the scholarship 29 minutes I'm not watching this video all right but I guess see so this is an example where this isn't necessarily the best uh, web page for them because it's confusing now I'm here and I'm going well what do I do next where do I where do I go next so it is pretty cool and the, what you can win is pretty cool but it, you got to watch a 30 minute video to figure out what you're supposed to do eh, fair enough go ahead and do it if you are interested in applying for this and winning these cool opportunities scholarships and other things that you can do here's one the writing the future scholarship 2021 this one's due it's offered by a law office a lot of actual law office I found have scholarships available to you the legal team here believes that tomorrow's future begins with today's youth. That's why we are once again offering a $1,000 scholarship to a diligent and deserving college student or high school senior. So you can be a high school senior or already in college and you still qualify for this. We hope the scholarship shapes a future leader we'll be proud of. To view previous winners, click here. So you can click on this. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see who won before. All right. Congratulations to the scholarship winners. Looks like... Oh, down here. Here we go. The 2020 entry. Here we go. Short essay. 2019 entry. Short essay. So here, look. You can even you can even look here at past examples of who won and what they wrote. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back here. Let's 
scholarship details. This is the stuff you want to care about. So it's going to be awarded $1,000. The deadline, April 7th. Winner announced by May 5th. So this is nice because they're telling you you're going to know by May 5th if you won or not. That is helpful. Sometimes they don't tell you when you're going to find out or how you're going to find out. So you're kind of just going, did I win? Did I not win? What's going to happen? So this is cool. That's nice that they tell you that. Short essay, 500 to 1,000 words. So stick within this parameter that they gave you. You know, they said we're all about giving back to the community, supporting our Boston Red Sox, to collecting holiday donations, etc., etc. You're young, but it's never too soon to start helping others. Tell us about a good deed that you did or are currently doing for someone else. Tell a story. So there you go, 500 to 1,000 words, and they just want to know a good deed that you've already done or that you're currently doing to help somebody out. Anybody can write an essay about this. 500 to 1,000 words about doing a good deed. Throw that out there, right? Get your name in the hat. Again, you don't know how many people are applying. Uh, and they give you examples. That's This is the best part. They give you examples of what other people have written. So read through these examples of winning entries and take what you can from that to craft your story in a way that is written that, that they're going to want to give you money. So there you go. That's another one. Look over here. This one's funny because I think this website, they use the same website. <laughs> this is the exact same layout as this previous one. And it's another law firm. All right, so you can go here to this one. New Heights Scholarship, same deal. They got a paragraph here explaining stuff. Please apply, fill out the information below. The deadline is April 14th. You got a little more time and we'll be announcing our winners on May 12th. Good luck applicants, never stop learning. So again, $1,000, here's the deadline. Here's when you're gonna find out. Very cool. Another short essay, 500 to 1,000 words. They recognize la la yada yada yada. And down here it's, for this short essay, please map out the path that you see yourself taking through college to your chosen field. If you're unsure, tell us none. Tell us nonetheless, what would you like to do and why? So again, 500 words to 1,000 words and you're writing an essay on this prompt and you just have to turn it in by April 14th. Let's see, do they let you see past winners? No, they don't have past winners on this one, so you can't you can't look at the uh, examples that they have. But again, a thousand dollars for maybe five hundred to a thousand words on just addressing basically map out your path. What do you plan on doing, and how do you see yourself taking through college into your chosen field? That's not complicated. You can tell that story. All right, write an essay, maybe win a thousand bucks. All right, over here, the next one, eWay scholarship. So here they talk about what does. Uh, what does it mean to be digitally responsible? This talks about e-waste and what all this means. 20 to 50 million tons of e-waste discarded in the world, right? And then they give you here, please refer to these articles. So you have articles they're directing you to to learn more context for what they're talking about. And then the application forms right here. Who are you? You can select what level so looks. So you can be you can be a high school freshman and apply for this, or you can be all the way through an adult non-traditional student. I've gotten some questions of how do you apply for scholarships here for a non-traditional student or if you're an adult going back to college. Here's an example of the scholarship you qualify for. All right, any anything in between. You can fill out your information here, and then it says again, choose the college you attend or are planning up to, up to four that you can choose. So select your college there. Uh, what's best describes your intended major or field of study? Just pick what you think you're going to do if you don't know. And obviously, if you're already in a field of study, that's easy. And then personal statement, 140 character statement that completes this sentence. The most important reason to care about e-waste is. So basically, this scholarship is based on a tweet. <laughs> if you, 140 characters to say the most important reason to care about e-waste is and answer that and then you enter. Who may apply? You may be a high school freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or current, or entering college, or graduate student of any level. Homeschooled students are also eligible. There's no age limit. You must be a U.S. citizen or legal resident. This is important for people if you're not a U.S. citizen or legal resident. And how to apply. Complete the application form below. It says below, but I think they meant above. Including a 140 character message about e-waste. The top 10 applications will be selected as finalists. There you go. And the finalists will be asked to write a full length 500 to 1000 word essay about e-waste. So there you go. This basically is like a pre-application uh, pre to kind of weed out the ones they don't want. And they only want to read 10 full length applications or 10 full, full length essays here. So I guess this is probably smart so they don't have to read through a thousand, you know, applications of a thousand word essays. They're just reading through a thousand hundred and forty character, you know, little sentences. And then they're going to say, all right, the top ten get to write a full length essay. So that's kind of smart on there and to save them some time. Um, deadline, April 30th. So you got some time, April 30th. Uh, to coincide with Earth Day, of course. 
how we'll select the winner. We will select the 10 finalists based on the context of the 140 character message, which is this, and then the winner will be selected based on the content of their 500 to 1,000 word essays. The winner will receive a $1,000 scholarship. So again, you can get your name in the hat by just taking the time to write a 140 character statement about this, and then if they don't like that, what, it took you five minutes? Maybe, I mean, you, you, maybe you want to read some of these things and, and read the articles. It might take more time than that, but not a whole lot of time to just write a 140 character statement to at least get your foot in the door and see if you want to get this one. So that's pretty cool too. And moving on, there's one over here. This is Unigo. Again, this is a scholarship sort of search engine you can use, but here's a scholarship called All About Education Scholarship. It's often been said that education is the key to success. What doors could be, could your education key open? Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Here you go, $3,000, winning a $3,000 scholarship. Uh, could help make a difference in your life. Will it ease your burden or student loans? Will it offer you the opportunity to pursue a dream? Will it help you inspire others to work towards their goals? Education can truly change a person's life, and this scholarship just might be the first step. Let us know why winning a scholarship for education matters to you. So that's basically what they're wanting to know. So here's your criteria here. Applicants must. This award is for U.S. students, must be a legal U.S. resident, okay? Must be 14 years or older at the time of application. So again, maybe if you're a freshman and you're a young freshman, maybe that knocks you out, but you know, sophomores and up, you know, you should be good must be legal resident of the 50 United States or the District of Columbia. So again, this is limiting if you're not, if you don't live in these states. Submit an online written response to the question, how will a $3,000 scholarship for education make a difference in your life? 250 words or less. So they don't want a long scholarship, they don't want a long essay here, 250 or less. All right, but this could win you $3,000. $3,000, that's totally worth trying. Totally worth trying. And again, if you've already written scholarships, if you watched my other video about scholarship applications, then you know that you already may have a list of like three or four or five scholarship essays you've already written. So just tweak those essays or take the, the best excerpts from those essays and address this question. Give this one a try, give this one a go, and you're just gonna go here. Here again, April 30th is the deadline, so that's important. April 30th, don't miss the deadline. And it even tells you your status. This one's not applied, I haven't applied. But I can click apply now there, or I believe there's also a button up here, apply now up here. So there you have it, guys. So you can just uh, look at any of these six scholarships uh, right here. They're all due in April. Some of them are due right at the beginning, April 1, and some of them are due at the end, April 30th. But all these scholarships are due in April, and you can apply for each one of them if you meet the criteria that they qualify for. I tried to pick some general scholarships that would have more people in my audience will qualify for. But regardless, when you're going to these uh, Google searches or if you're going to you know, scholarships.com or these uh, scholarship search engines, you're gonna get to these kinds of websites. And so this is just how easy it can be to go to the website, quickly kind of skim through, look at the criteria, look at what they're asking, what do they want you to even do? and then make a decision. Be like, ah, is this for me? Do I want to take the time to do this one? And if not, just go, ah, I don't want to do this one. Or go, yeah, I can do this. And then take the time to put together a, a plan for attacking what do you need to do. If it's writing an essay, do that. If it's making a video, do that. But kind of figure out if you even want to do it, if the amount is worth it to you versus the time that you have, and then do it. And just do it, submit it. And you want to just try to keep churning through these scholarships. Every month, there's new scholarships you can apply for. I'm going to post another video about scholarships due in May. All right, and then we're gonna just keep churning through. Every month there's new scholarships. Keep applying, keep applying, keep applying. And you can give yourself a full ride to college with all these different scholarships added together. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to get more content about scholarships, building wealth, managing your money. And if you enjoyed this particular style of video, go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know that you'd like more of these. And if you wanna watch any of my other videos, you can check out here. I got a playlist there, or you can head to the channel and binge watch everything that I got. So money management is a mindset and you can pay for college without student loans. Stay empowered, we'll see you next time.